Hello and welcome to The Pin Man. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a pin that I've been curious about for a little while now and finally got my hands on a Lamy Studio. And this particular model is the one that is called Forest or Black Forest. And so uh, kind of a unique color for the name, but uh, I'll explain a little bit more why this isn't totally black. All right, so it's a beautiful pin. Uh, during this, our time together today, I'm going to be uh, giving you a tour of the pin as well as uh, showing you some other, other models, variants of this pin. There's not a whole lot, but uh, we'll show you some of those, some size comparisons, a writing sample, and then I will uh, talk about some of my pros and cons about the Lamy Studio. It really is a nice pen. All right, so let's get to it. All right, the Lamy Studio comes in this uh, kind of a gray box. I'm not sure if they all come in this kind of box, but anyway, this one did. And uh, just with the Lamy, and then C, Yosef Lamy, and then that word there means something to the effect of limited or um, incorporated or whatnot. All right, so you take this cardboard sleeve off, and you have a, uh, with the same material, you have this clamshell uh, case. You open it up, let me get some better light in here. Pull out the pin, take this little tab here you can pull there pull that out you have a well these came with it too you have this uh, warranty card there and you have this care and cleaning guide and on this side you have a, a little catalog of all the different uh, pins that Lamy makes a different styles we've got the studio right there on the end so that's kind of nice inside you're going to have a proprietary cartridge and there's a converter too but i have it in my pen and as a bonus you have this styrofoam noodle i don't think you can float with it but uh there you go uh, not all pin companies offer this noodle as a uh, little gift <laughs> oh my goodness okay so get that out of the way and then it for just even some more extra protection it comes in this uh, little plastic sleeve all righty all righty here's a tour of the Lamy studio fountain pen the again the price is $79 I got that from uh, pen boutique Price is similar at Goulet and Gold Spot. If you want a gold nib, it's going to cost your the gold nib model of Lamy Studios is uh, 183. It's not the same Black Forest uh, color. Of course, you can order the nib separate, the gold nib separate. But uh, then I think they have another special edition. It's all black. It may have been a limited edition. I can't remember but it was 119 it just had a steel a steel nib the cartridge and converter of course are proprietary the nib that comes with the studio is a you have a choice this is a medium but you also have a choice of fine and extra fine uh, in the steel, the you can buy additional nibs at the same time that you buy uh, the pen. They're going to cost you around sixteen dollars, but you have a choice of a broad, a lefty nib, one point one, one point five, and one point nine stub. That's pretty cool to have that that many uh, options in the stubs. The body length from nib tip to Finial is 120 millimeters. Body capped is 139 millimeters. Body posted 
it is 155 millimeters. And then for the grip, the grip is 11 millimeters at the middle portion there. The length of the grip is 30 millimeters and the body girth at the widest point is 12.5 millimeters, which is, which is pretty decent. I, I think it's a good uh, medium between uh, large pin and small pin. The weight of the body is 22 grams. Overall, it is 31 grams. Again, the color on this pin is, uh, it's called forest black, but it really isn't black. It's it's dark, it's like a dark green and a metallic. Let me see if I can zoom in here and get you a better, better look at that color. Hopefully I'm in focus there. So I'll just try to wave it around there. You can see the metallic glitter, so to speak, in there, but it's like a dark green almost uh, maybe with a hint of gray in it. I, I think it's really a pretty color. If you look at uh, the thumbnail, and I'll put that up there real quick, uh, you know, a black forest is not black, okay? There's dark shades of green and light shades of green and so forth. So I think this, uh, the color of this pin uh, accurately mimics that. The clip is a propeller what they call a propeller shape. And uh, I think it's pretty nice. The, uh, the finial is flat on the top and then the clip comes right out uh, from the body. The, it's separate from the uh, cap and then it comes down to there. And that's, um, it's a nice, it's kind of a taut clip, but I, I think it's a good balance and it's rounded as you can see on the end there. So it'll slip well in your pocket. Um, some have talked about does this scratch, but I, I think maybe over time because the clip is kind of, kind of move uh, a little easier because of the, the flat there. It gives things something to grip on to, to move it. Uh, maybe you might end up with a little bit of scratching down there, but you know, for the most part, I think if you just take care, it'll be fine. The cap is a snap cap. It's not the smoothest I found, but it's not, it's not tough. You can cap and uncap with one hand. So that's kind of my, my gauge on whether it's, if it's too tight or not, but it's, it's nice and firm and you, you know, you can feel it doesn't, doesn't wiggle around a lot. Nice and firm hold that it has there. The body filling capacity of fluid capacity is three milliliters. Lamy Studio with the medium nib, and you'll see this in the writing sample as well, is a very, very nice rider. It's got a, the pin itself has good balance in the hand, unposted and plenty long enough, or I should say short enough, uh, to use posted. It posts well, posts securely. Again, there's a little bit of a, a click in there. It's only somewhat back weighted, but you really don't notice it. Uh, if anything, sometimes when they, when they get a little weighted, uh, it can feel like the pin wants to turn, rotate around as that clip is kind of heavy on the top, maybe comes around. But I, I don't know. If you like to post your nib, I don't post your cap. I don't think this is uh, going to be a problem. So it's got, it's got pretty good uh, width. And then the uh, little step down there after you posted it, 
to me, even though it meets it on the knuckle there, it, it really isn't noticeable. The inside of the cap, I think they, they either ground it down, kind of rounded the, the cap and uh, smoothed that out, or it's just where the uh, lacquer, body lacquer, kind of wraps around into the inside. I think that really has helped it, um, that to be smooth. It looks sharp. I mean, it looks like it would be sharp, but it really isn't, so it's nice. The grip is a nice, um, comfortable width. There's a, a slight step down from the body to the grip, but it's it's not really that noticeable. I mean, you, you do notice it there, but it's not irritating, I should say. The grip can be a tad slippery. For me, if my, if my fingers are dry, then it gets a little bit slippery and it wants to slip this way. It doesn't want to slip down toward the uh, nib, but it just, um, it wants to slip up. So I have to keep, you know, I have to keep going down. Right now, I mean, my hands are a little bit dry, but yeah, I don't, I don't really have a problem uh, with it at all. The style of the Lamy Studio, I would call contemporary elegance. You know, it looks modern, but there's some vintage uh, form to it as far as it's, you know, it's not overstated, uh, but it's not really understated. I think the clip really helps there. It's something different. It gives it uh, a little modern twist there, but it does have some elegance to that. Here are some size comparisons. You have the Lamy Studio. You have the Waterman Karen. You have the Diplomat Excellence A2. And you have the Lamy Safari. And you have the Twisby 580 AL in rows. Here they are uncapped, and here they are posted. All right, here's a writing sample of the Lamy Studio. And this is the, not limited, but, um, Special Edition 2021 called the Forest Black. I love how this pen writes. It is smooth, moderately wet. The ink is Die mine, blue black. Reverse writing, very good. Remarkably smooth and that as well. Keeps up well, man, no problems, no problems at all. This is a, this pen is a pleasure to write with. So I'm going to give it a big smiley. Alrighty, how about some pros and cons of this wonderfully, wonderful writing pen? All right, why do I like and what are the pros and cons? I'll, I'll call them that, of the Lamy Studio. Again, what I like is the design. It has a very nice design. <laughs> the, the, I, I just noticed, I really wish Lamy would have put the their Lamy the other way because I tend to hold my, I, I just pick my pins up and hold them like this. So if Lamy was like that, but whatever. Uh, you know, the, the clip, the body shape, the 
lacquer color and all of that is just nice. I, I love it. The, another uh, pro is uh, the nib quality. The writing quality is the nib is very, very smooth. And the price, $79. Again, uh, my diplomats, diplomats nowadays are, are selling for over, and even with their steel nibs, are selling for over $200, I, I believe. I, I picked up some of mine when they were under 200, but they're selling for, you know, right around $200. And steel nibs, nice nibs, very nice nibs. I'm not knocking the Diplomat product at all. I love it. It's one of my favorites. But I was, I guess I'm just really pleasantly surprised at how well this pen is uh, made, how well it writes, and for the price. It's just a very good quality uh, pen for the price. All right, for the uh, cons, I guess you could say the metal grip might be a con. I know that they have one or two models that they have a lacquer. I think it's a lacquer. It may be rubberized, but I th think it's a lacquer. Anyway, it's not a, a bare metal type. I mean, this is chrome plated. But, um, you know, it's not a bare metal type of feel to it. You got, it's kind of like the body here, okay? So this is just a little bit more slippery than if you're holding the body. But that would be a con, because some people just absolutely hate metal grips. And, you know, if that's the case, you're probably not going to want this pen. But for me... You know, the, the grip is not, a, is not a problem. The other con that I had was the initial nib offerings. They only offer it in extra fine, fine, and medium, which is, which is somewhat of a disappointment because they also have, uh, let's see, one, two, about five other, I think five other uh, nibs that can be bought, not counting their gold nib, but they have broad, they have a lefty nib, 1.1, 1.5, 1.9 uh, stub nib. So, you know, it's um, it's kind of a disappointment that you can't get those options when you buy the pen to begin with. Because otherwise, you know, you're you're going to have to be paying another sixteen dollars. But I do understand. I mean, the most popular. Nib sizes are those three, X fine, fine, and medium. And so uh, I, I can understand, uh, maybe from a manufacturing and uh, standpoint, uh, cost and all that, just to uh, give those options there. But uh, then you also have, of course, your gold nib.